because this was telling a story. You want to hold the camera? Yeah, I got the camera. Right. You want to hold the camera and maybe you want to say something? No, I don't want I want the whoever, who's, who's going to talk about uh, Okay. Uh, uh, brother. Uh, brother Randy's going to talk about this. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. This is, uh, my name is Randy, my name is Randy Ryder. And we're out here at a museum, a black museum in Aurora, Illinois. Uh, done by a world-renowned artist named Charles Smith. Charles Smith. A uh, black Vietnam veteran who came home and had this vision and to tell our story. However, as you can see, when we begin to, to pan this, this museum, it's in disrepair. And uh, this array. This this is from the, the neglect mm. of the African American community and the, and the, and the apathy mm. of the African American community. Uh, it's in shambles. It's in shambles, <laughs> and even even in shambles, it's still a powerful testament to the struggle. Yes, sir. That we that we uh, the journey that we came through. Uh, what other people on the face of the planet would allow their history to be defiled in such a manner? Mm. We don't even know the significance of these pieces. And as I say, this art, this artist is world renowned. He is not just some guy who put a bunch of junk together. This is a world renowned artist. This guy is, is having a uh, 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 whole uh, shows that dedicated to him mm -hmm. at, at the Sabo Museum. Mm. White people know the value of this brother more than black people. The only thing, as you keep, as you keep walking, you can see the remnant of where he, or how he was telling our story. That's a shame. Why do you think these? Brothers and sisters, these black people don't care nothing about their history. Well, I want to add something to that. I've been in the world for 15 years. Okay. And I noticed that the African, there is no African American community uh -huh. in the rural Illinois. A rural Illinois is predominantly Latino. Okay. Okay. And there was a time in this neighborhood area, this area was predominantly African American community up until the early 80s, late 80s, I would say the mid 80s. And what happened, a lot of African Americans sold out. They sold all their business, they sold their homes, mm -hmm. and they sold a lot of their business and homes to the Latino community, which Latino community do not support the African Americans right. in here. Every time we build, a com we build something, like a store or something, they don't come here, they don't buy from us, they don't trade with us or anything. So they're not really concerned about uh, the black community. As you can see, this said slave ship, slave ship at one time. Yeah. You have people come over here and, 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 and just, just destroy things and uh, uh, they just don't have no respect for this. And, and I don't blame the Latino community. I blame African Americans because we supposed to be able to have pride and, and, and uh, have some type of uh, 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 respect for things of 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 of, of our uh, history. Yes, sir. This is a part of our history, and we're supposed to have respect for that, but we don't. We're too busy running around trying to buy the latest rims, mm -hmm. the newest cars, the newest shoes, and we're not doing nothing to invest in our history. Whether we like it or not, slavery is an African American history. Yeah. Not only is it African American history, it's American history. Every time you talk about slavery. People say, well, y'all talking about slavery. Y'all talking about something bad. African slavery is American history. It's yes. part of the white and the black experience. Yes. The Latino don't have anything to do with that concept uh -huh. in America other than that ain't got nothing to do with us. They're right. only concerned about our, their own survival. And their survival right now relies on our demise. Majority of the time, our demise is part of their survival. So right now, we're in a Used to be black neighborhood, now it's predominantly Latino. Mm -hmm. Well, and let, let us 
let us talk, let us explain exactly why the Latins feel the way that they feel. The Latins feel the way the Latins feel the way that they feel because we are in direct competition. This nation needs a needs a race of willing workers mm. to to maintain their wealth. That's right. We have become too expensive. We have become uh, too knowledgeable about what our rights are. See, we were the first. We were the first source of cheap labor for this country. Any business, the biggest, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, 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 expense in any business is what the labor. Right. If what you got to pay people, and then I'm going to tell you why we want to divorce ourselves from our history, because. It is a painful history, and nobody wants to be recognized for being a slave. Mm. You want to forget that you were dominated in that way, or your forefathers were dominated in that way. You want to forget that. If they concentrated more on what we were before we got here, rather than what we have been, see, in the United States, African history is taught as if it began when we got to these shores. Right. We had a rich history where we had the world studying at our feet mm -hmm. that is never mentioned. Most people don't even know that the Madonna, that the Catholic Church, when he, they have white pictures of the Madonna. But the Madonna is in a little place, a little town in, in Poland where the Pope goes mm -hmm. and she's black as the Ace of Spades. Mm -hmm. The mother of Earth is Africa. We, but see, we have been convinced. See, we had two. We had, a, we had the European at one time was the only bridge between the two cultures. Mm -hmm. He went over there and told them that we was pimps and pushers. Huh. He came over here and told them, told us they were savages. Right. Since we didn't go there, we couldn't go there. So now we don't even want to know them, and they don't want to know us. So we have got a, 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 a disconnect from our homeland. What other race of people out here don't have no connection to their homeland? Mm. We consider our homeland backwards because we are looking at it through the prism of a European society. That's right. Imagine, if you will, if all the, go get the book of inventions, look at how many of those inventions were made by African Americans and think about what those would have, the inventions would have done had we done it in Africa right mm. here. Mm. That talent had it been left in Africa, had talent had it been left in Africa, mm -hmm. would have built Africa. They stripped Africa of all its resources. Why do you think all of the world's resources is in Africa? Didn't didn't God the, the God of the Jehovah of the, of the Bible say that all that I that I have created is for you and the dominion? That's why everything that exists on the face of this planet. You can be can be found in its raw form in Africa. Mm -hmm. Please stop calling people Jews. Mm. There is the Jews that we think of. Judaism is not a race. Mm -hmm. It is a religion. Right. Absolutely there is right. no such thing as a Jew. Right. As a Christian. Mm -hmm. As a uh, Muslim. Mm -hmm. Muslims can be black, white, or green. Mm -hmm. Jews can be black, white, or green. They are not a race. Mm -hmm. They are a group of white people who, <laughs> who practice Judaism. Uh -oh. That's what they are. <laughs> Teaching. See, Teaching. See, now check this out. Now yeah. We're going to get biblical on this thing. Yeah. Okay. Look in your Bible. In Genesis. I'd rather not, sir. <laughs> 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 
Bible. You can tell. I, you can. You can. You, see, when your mama tells you to read the Bible, you can show her how it's been misinterpreted. I want to show you something to prove my point. Anytime anybody doubt that the, the cradle of civilization is after, this is what you tell them. You go to Genesis, and there's a river called Gion, G-I-H-O-N. Mm -hmm. That river, right now today, still runs through the middle of Ethiopia. Mm. Ethiopians do not even sanction those so-called Jews uh, 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 in Israel, right? That inhabit Israel. That's right. Cause in their mind, the true Jews are the Africans. Mm -hmm. See, and so since we, since we, 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 uh, how you doing? Well, since, since, since we know that, if the river still runs through, the, see that river's not changed. That river's in the Book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. Genesis means what? The beginning. beginning. So if it's in there in the beginning, if it was there in the beginning, it's there now. That's the origination. That's the origination of Earth. Let me give you some other, some other things. The so-called Middle East was a creation of the Europeans. Mm -hmm. All they did was drive, is, is, is create that Suez Canal that separated the main body of Africa from Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they call that the Middle East. Huh. That, that was ancient Kemet. Mm -hmm. That was the upper and lower Sudan. That was Ethiopia. Greater and, 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 and uh, Ethiopia minor. That is where Timbuktu, Songhai, mm. and all the other organisms, I mean, uh, 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 Precursors, mm -hmm. because most of the knowledge that these people have is a duplication of what was already uh, thought of by your forefathers. Yes, sir. Now, if you don't believe me, there's a book called The Secrets of the Nile Valley mm -hmm. by Anthony Brown. It will show you where the CBS I come from. Mm. Where the denote all the things that are on the deck of your dollar, of your dollar bill come from? How come you got an overlinch in your Washington Capitol? Mm. That is the symbolic of Osiris and Isis and the and the and the removal of the fallacy. Uh, 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 that's what that symbolizes. People don't understand what really is going on out here. Mm -hmm. You've been miseducated to believe that you were inferior because if, they, if you are if you think you're in.